Conrad Murray. His case goes to the jury later today. They'll decide if he's guilty of killing Michael Jackson after weeks of testimony and several hours of impassioned closing arguments yesterday. ABC's Jim Avila has been there for all of it, and he starts us off this morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Judge George. The jury itself will be bused from court uh, to court by a, from a secret location this morning, and then they will begin to pick a four-person and then begin deliberating the fate of Conrad Murray. The, uh, the uh, lawyers themselves and Conrad Murray will get a two-hour notice as to when there's a verdict. Until then, we sit and wait. It's the jury's turn to speak. So I hope that you do the right thing. Return with the only right verdict. We're not guilty. Guilty. It was a final tug of war of words. The prosecution ridiculing Conrad Murray as an incompetent $150,000 a month greedy opportunist whose negligence resulted in Michael Jackson's drug overdose, leaving his children orphans. They do not have a father because of the actions of Conrad Murray. Murray was a selfish doctor who covered his tracks, according to the prosecution, calling 911 after hiding incriminating propofol bottles, a guilty act. Putting Conrad Murray first, putting Michael Jackson, his life, last. Dr. Murray did not kill Michael Jackson. But the defense countered, arguing quit. Jackson killed himself by injection, saying Murray is not to blame. They want you to convict Dr. Murray for the actions of Michael Jackson. In fact, jurors were told Dr. Murray is a victim of Jackson's celebrity. If it were anybody else but Michael Jackson, anybody else, would this doctor be here today? Poor Conrad Murray. Michael Jackson is dead. And we have to hear about poor Conrad Murray. And no doctor knows what it's like to be in his shoes. If you're going to hold Dr. Murray responsible, don't do it because it's Michael Jackson. This is not a reality show. It's reality. And the decisions you make isn't making good TV. It's how it affects real human beings and people that love them. Now, the Jackson family seemed quite pumped by the prosecution effort. After court, they actually hugged the prosecutor, Latoya hugging him in the, in the hallway. And then Michael's mother said her excitement was tempered by the fact that no matter what the verdict, Michael Jackson will not be back.